What's going on, people? It's your boy, um, Charles McMurray, a.k.a. Chugga, a.k.a. the People's Champ, a.k.a. the Christian Sex Symbol. Um, I'm back with another list, Chugga's Top 10, but this list has sparked controversy. I've racked my brain, um, and so I'm going to do two parts, and I'm going to try to fly through this so I don't have two super long videos. <clears throat> So right now we have top 10 comedians. This list that I'm having for this video are not in the top 10, but they should have been. Um, I did have uh, primarily African-American comedians, but there are a few other comedians that I feel like should have just been on the list. And so here are people that I find dope. Uh, Roy Woods Jr. Roy Woods Jr. is the host of This Is Happening on... Um, Comedy Central is a storytelling show. Um, he also has, uh, he also is a writer for The Daily Show. And um, I think his comedy is amazing. He's been at it for a while. Um, he's just gotten into like main stage recognition for the past five years. But looking at his comedy within the past five years, it's just his stand up. It's um, amazing. Uh, Hannibal Burris. Hannibal Burris is like a beast on stage. Like his comfortability, his dry humor, you know, it's not often that you find black people who are dry. I love dry humor personally, but he's able to like just hold it, you know, just hold that same demeanor and just give great material. Tony Woods. Tony Woods was my first favorite comedian. Um, he does, I only seen like, probably an hour, maybe an hour and a half worth of material from him, period. <laughs> but um, Dave Chappelle studied Tony Woods. Um, I just like him, man. It was, he just, you know, he just kind of had fun on the stage and he was himself and he just kind of knew how to take your expectation and flip it upside down. Um, I don't know, I'm not putting him on this list, no. Sinbad. Sinbad is dope. I think Sinbad may be the most underrated comedian um, ever as far as acting and stand-up. Uh, you have to give it to a man who can do it clean. Uh, he does, he is primarily clean. I mean, you know, a few D words, a few A words here and there. But for the most part, he's clean and he is funny. Like his demeanor is funny, his personality is funny. The way he tells a story, like he's just, he just got it, man. Like go look at a Sinbad clip on YouTube right now and tell me you ain't gonna laugh. Bill Burr. Only reason Bill Burr is not in the top 10 is because he's not black. I'm gonna just be honest. Bill Burr is amazing. I stand Bill Burr. I love angry comedy. Bill Burr is very angry. Um, like he's just he's just good. He's just good at what he does. Um, he I mean sometimes his point of view may seem a little chauvinistic and maybe a little out there, but he always is explaining it. He has his arguments, and you have to respect that. On the same bind, I have to put Louis C.K. up there too because Louis C.K. has very dark humor. Um, stuff that he can like really get on stage and talk about literally anything and make it funny and that is amazing because as a comic myself I find it very hard to touch on certain issues and certain things but he's able to finesse it and um, I don't mean to put him on the list uh, <clears throat> you know due to his allegations and all the bad things he's done um, I'm a person I can still uh, separate a skill set and a talent from the actual uh, person you know character wise he's made some mistakes um, yeah <laughs> you know am I consuming his material as of now no but with what I have consumed he is one of the best sorry speaking of the best George Carlin George Carlin was like the first comedian that I seen that was conscious like that was smart you know i feel like he's like the father of smart comedy you know and i know back in the day most comedians made you think but not on the level of george carlin he was he took it to a whole nother level and i just love his insight um just how he's able to think outside the box and challenge societal norms um jim galligan jim galligan is my favorite comedian <laughs> like I, I love Jim Gallagher. He is so funny to me. Like I just, 
like clean. He's also a clean comic. Um, nobody, I didn't even know he was clean because he's that funny. Like when you're funny enough that people don't notice that you're clean because you're you're still real, you're still telling your truth, and you're still that funny. You know that's how you know you have something. You know, uh, he, he his jokes about food and family and him being pale. You know. He like does self depreciating comedy, but it's not sad when he does it. Like he has that confidence that he can still pull it off. Um, these are two groups of people: the Wans. Um, I had to give it to the Wans as a family. Um, as far as everything they produce, I'm gonna get you Sucker and Live in Color, um, the scary movies, uh, White Chicks, like. All the stuff that Marlon Wayans is doing now, because he's like, it's like his time now. Kenan just passed the baton. But every single one of them, my wife and kids, uh, <laughs> like, they are literally the first family of comedy. And I definitely pay homage to everything they've done for, um, for minorities as far as giving them a platform and giving them a chance. Um, Kenan Ivory Wayans and Robert Townsend uh, just kind of just being so active in that era to really make um, black comic co comedy what it is. Um, and so I have to give it to all of them, all 59 of them. Um, I couldn't single out one as a stand-up. Uh, and I also have to give it up to the kings of comedy. I'm not putting any of the kings, wait, are any of the kings on the list? None of the kings are on the top ten list, so I have to acknowledge them now, one by one. Um, Cedric is my frat brother. Um, he's charismatic, and he's not just a comic. He he is a singer. He is a dancer. Like he is truly an entertainer, and I like uh, when comics are able to be versatile because I am also versatile, and so I definitely look up to him in that aspect. Hold on. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I'm about to be done. This is my last one. Um, Steve Harvey has to be one of the most successful comedians. Um, people don't know his net worth, but he has 6,000 jobs. And from a person that's been homeless to a person that's been in obscurity, you know, to now being a household name and being able to cross over and being able to be, you know, make himself a brand and make himself a franchise, um, that's admirable. And so you have to give it to him for just having that personality and being so good on the slide and being such a great host. You know, I think he's most known for his hosting, coming from Showtime to, at the Apollo to Celebration of Gospel to now hosting everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like hosting USA pageant and Family Feud and everything. But, um, yeah, Bernie Mac. Uh, Bernie Mac was fearless. I think Bernie Mac is the most naturally funny out of all four. Like, that's just his personality. Bernie Mac kind of reminds me of my father. Like, when I watch the Bernie Mac show, I'm like, yo, that's my dad. You know? <laughs> like, just have that, I don't care. I'm going to do I'm gonna do me. I'm going to do what I do. You know, old school. Like, he was like the oldest young person ever. <laughs> I, I was about to say something real bad. But some of y'all whose mind is right there, y'all know what I was about to say. And um, you're welcome. But uh, yeah, man, he he was funny, funny. Like even beyond stand up, like there was a reason why he was like popping, popping before he passed. Uh, speaking of people that passed, shouts out to Patrice O'Neill. He also Patrice O'Neill was like a comics comic. Like you could tell he was very New York with it. You know, I don't know where he's from, but um, just the way he delivered and and his just nonchalantness and able to go blue. I don't like a lot of blue comedy, but you know, Patrice O'Neill, I enjoy. Um, last but not least, D.L. Hughley, um, from his show um, to his radio show uh, to you know things he did on Comedy Central or CNN. I'm sorry, uh, and um, you know just his consciousness. Like he is, he is really. Um, an intelligent guy. Like, I enjoy listening to him. Some people don't agree with him and don't like hearing him speak. Um, I personally do. You know, even if I don't necessarily agree with things he say, um, I definitely 
just enjoy his perspective and enjoy how his view on things just as a person aside from being funny but he's one of the best um roasters out there he'll roast everybody in the audience on the fly you know that's a skill set uh, that i definitely appreciate but um that's my list of people who did not make it stay tuned for my top 10 people who did make it top 10 comedians so if they didn't make this list you can only imagine who's on the top 10 stay tuned